Hey there neighbors and naysayers, Clint Finney again. It's October the 10th, 2024. And as a result of some calls and some talks that we've had um, in here in the office and, and through the Eastern Ohio Grazing Council YouTube page, uh, we just wanted to check in and, and talk a little bit about why we think it's a good idea to wait until we turn livestock back out on pasture. Now I'm standing in a hay field today just because that was the nearest place we could go out and, and get some grass. Uh, but uh, we just want to talk about why. Why do we want to wait? The biggest reason for me, and we want this as simple as possible, is if we would turn livestock out today, we've got two, three, four, maybe five inches of growth out there. They're going to graze that off, and then it's going to take three or four days for that forage to recover and regrow again. Those are three or four days of non-growth in, in a time when we're going to have very little growing days left of the year. We are better off to wait and graze that forage once we get to winter dormancy. Most, some of you are gonna call that killing frost. This, this is perennial forage, it doesn't actually kill. It's just winter dormancy. It's when it goes and slows, it grows down. We are better off to wait until that winter dormancy period because then we will accumulate the most amount of growth that we possibly can without shutting those plants down due to grazing or due to a compaction or, or use or, or whatever it, it is. Uh, we, if we allow them to go until winter dormancy, we're going to accumulate the most amount of growth we possibly can. I know that it's very tempting to turn cattle out, turn livestock out, because we see green growth and the cows and sheep have been on hay for, in some cases, two and three months, and, and we're seeing the hay and we're seeing the hay bill and how much hay we're using. But trust me when I tell you, if we go out and graze now, we are going to use more hay in the long run. We are better off to wait. Let that forage get its feet under itself, let it grow, let it recover, let it rest, let it get as much forage accumulated above the soil surface as we can before we graze it <clears throat> because then we're going to feed less hay in the long run. If we go out and graze it now, two, three, four inches, we may not get another grazing. If we leave it alone, we may get 8, 10, 11, 12 inches of forage accumulated before that winter dormancy period starts and then we can graze it. And that grass isn't going to go anywhere. We're not at a time of year where the forage is going to go to seed, where it's, and we're not at a time of year where it's going to reach a plateau and stop growing. It's going to continue to grow until we reach that winter dormancy period. So if we hold the livestock in now at this point and allow it to accumulate as much mass as it possibly can, we'll have that forage to graze when winter dormancy gets here. We can talk about bale grazing then, we can talk about stockpiled grazing then, we can talk about using it in many, many different ways, but the best way for us to accumulate the most amount of forage is just to let it go and let it be. We're already on hay anyway. Let's continue to feed hay until we get to that winter dormancy, and then we'll have the most amount of forage we could possibly accumulate. Again, I know it's tempting. I know it's hard to hold those cows in. We've all seen green growth and we're ready to go, and it seems like such a waste to be feeding hay when the grass is green, but it's just like spring. There's a time in the spring when we just need to hold on to them and not turn them out until it reaches a certain height. We are just in that same sort of uh, situation here in this fall because of this drought in 2024. We need to hold on to the livestock, let it accumulate as much forage as it possibly can, and then use that forage later. Trust me when I say we're gonna have more forage to feed and we'll feed less hay both this winter and then into the spring. The other part of that is if, if we graze this off too close, we're really hurting the plant for coming back in the spring. And instead of turning out April 15th, we may not be turning out till May, or, yeah, till May 1st. Uh, so by holding them in, we're saving ourselves hay, not only right now or here in this fall, early winter period, but also in the late winter, early spring period. So that'll say, we'll see you next time.